Welcome to Eflux FX Studios. Today's tutorial will be on manually rigging a non-standard character in iClone's 3D Exchange. To do this, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Mixmo, which is a free app if you have the Adobe Cloud, and a lot of people have that, and it's 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 a good source of uh, a lot of different ana animations that you can use in your projects. To get started, you select the characters up on the upper left, and I'm going to use the Y bot. So just uh, select Y bot and then double click on it. It'll ask you if you want to use that character. Say yes, and there you go. Now you'll see over on the side where you, the X. Go ahead and X out of the walking animation because we want a T pose for uh, rigging in in iClone. So. Once you get that set up, just double click on the download. You want if you want an FBX, and you want the T post, and just click download. After a few seconds, that'll put that in your downloads directory, and then go ahead and click on the animations. For animations, I'm, what I'm really doing, we're just going to use a walking animation. Just this is so we'll have it so we can test, and I can also demonstrate some of the things to look out for. Once you get that, since it's only for a test, you don't need to change any of the settings. You can play with them later. Make sure it's FBX without skin. Always save your animations without skin, whatever your project's frames per second. And I never use the keyframe reduction, so um, it, it doesn't really add anything. So go to your download directory, copy the files. You just uh, download it and copy them into your project directory or wherever other location you choose. I just like to keep everything in one spot. Once you get that done, go ahead and open up the 3D Exchange and we'll go ahead and bring the Ybot into 3D Exchange. And the easiest way to do that is just select it and drag it in. Um, you can hit file and bring it in that way, but it, it drags in just fine. And there you go, leave everything checked. Uh, since we're really just using the rigging, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then it will load it, and it will recognize the character, and, and there you go. And so if we come down here, as we do with everything that we import in Diclone, we, we're going to go ahead and convert to non-standard. And you'll see that it's red. We're not a, It doesn't recognize the rig. So if we come down, we used to be able to go to uh, the Maya Human IK, and it would turn green and it would recognize the rigging for Mixmo and you'd go on your way, you'd convert. But it's not working anymore and you can see none of the others are. The most recent uh, update seems to have done that. So we're just going to go ahead and create a custom characterization profile. It takes about three minutes, so it's not it's not really a delay to worry about. Of all the, there, are a lot of other there are a lot of other things that they could have messed up worse. So big key here, start in the center, work your way out. Don't skip any bones in the chain or they may not work right. So we're going to start at the hip and we're going to just start selecting bones and work our way up. You'll see the little down arrows that we use those when there's more uh, bones, for example, in the spine or the neck uh, than, than what it, the base character showing the base. And you'll see an arrow there which will show you the directions. Don't skip any vertebrae and work your way up and you select the shoulders. So the if you look and then you just keep working your way around now now the the bones shown are the minimum you have to to properly rig in or create a character that for use uh with iClone and you can have more you just can't have less and as you'll see when we get to the legs here you don't even need to select all of the bones that uh that came with the rig um and and don't worry about that everything will work just fine so just keep selecting, work your way down. You see at the end of the feet, there's there's a couple more bones. There's one in the middle. You don't have to worry about that. Those, they're not necessary. Um, all the animations will work fine. And uh, so we'll kind of get everything selected. Sometimes it's a little tedious to select. If you select the wrong one, just deselect it and, uh, and Put the uh, link in the right location. So now we're getting the arms. You notice that everything's still red because we've not selected. We still have to get all of the main bones as defined in the uh, and the preset basically shows you a picture of the required bones. And once we get them defined, we'll be good. 
And you'll notice green is center, blue is right, and the orange is left. Now, as soon as we select the hand, you'll notice it turns green. So if you don't need finger animations, you're done. I'm going to go ahead and rig, uh, rig the fingers. Just It's not even that I necessarily need them for, for the tutorial, but I'd like to at least show you you know, all the tricks. And, and this way, you've got a fully rigged custom profile in case you ever need it. So zoom in on the hand. You'll see same thing. You'll see the arrow, and it's over by the, over by the thumb. Start at the thumb and work your way out. Again, same thing as always, don't, don't skip to the end. The circle on the um, end of the finger that connects with the diamonds seems to be, uh, my understanding is it's, it's kind of like that's, that's how the fingers, like if you, they need to feel thing, if you're putting them up against the wall or something, that's basically, I guess, the, the scent, what will sense the wall and keep you from pushing the hand through the wall. I've not really tested it, haven't had to uh, in any of my scenes, but uh, from what I've been able to read, it, that seems to be the case. So as we move through the hand, it, you know, it's just right and left, and uh, there's nothing, same, same approach we did for all the other bones, don't skip any, and uh, line them up, and then once we get this done, I'll, I'll kind of demonstrate how the fingers uh, work. And um, now we'll go to the other hand, speed it up a little bit. I'm not actually moving this quick, just kind of speeding up the, uh, the video. And as I mentioned, you can see it's about two or three minutes to create a custom character. And the Mixmo rigs are nice. They, they actually work really well with iClone. So if you need one, just use it. You know, there's probably other sources. I know I've downloaded BBHs from Daz and whatnot, but these, these are good. Especially if you don't have any speech or anything like that, and you're really just looking for movement. Uh, these are quick, they work well. So now we're out of it, and you can see we have a, uh, we're still green, and all the bones necessary to animate this character are selected. Click active, and now you'll see the characterization profile. Click on save. You can, um, you know, give it whatever name you want. There's no specific naming convention. I'll just name it after the tutorial so that I remember why I uh, created it. And click save. And now we have a custom profile. So you think you're done. Not even close. But first things, pick one of the calibrations. Fingers, good one. It doesn't do anything. So that's important where we have work to do. So, um, and I'm not sure why, I just know this works. So click on convert and click okay. So now we've done that, now go right, we'll go right back into it. Uh, but I'll, sh I'll, um, I'll show you an animation just to let you see this as well. So at this particular point, if we tried to bring in the walking one, you'll, you'll find um, that um, leave everything checked and it won't come in. It, it's going to give you an error. So things are still not right. You actually have to go back into the character uh, convert to non-standard. It doesn't... I'm going to delete... For some reason you get two Y bots out of this. You can delete one of them. It's not a big deal. You can leave it there either way. But I'm going to go ahead and go back to convert to non-standard. And you can see, right? It's dark. That's definitely not what we're looking for. It shows the rig, but the, it's not linked to anything. So you have to unselect active. That's extremely important or you can't load the profile. Now you go, you select the profile I just made, open it up, and there you go. That's what you're used to seeing, right? Everything's green. Character's there. Now we can come down and do a preview. Uh, pick run, click preview, and now everything's working. Uh, finger calibration. Now nah, we'll just go to T-Post. Alright, so now click convert. Say OK. And we can come up to the walking uh, animation, leave it on smooth, and the current character. It's you can see the animation, and there you go. So everything's working now. You can import it to apply it to iClone or export it if if that's what you're working on. But it definitely will work. And since you've saved it, you can repeat it. And when you go back in, you don't have to go out and back in again. 
So the next time you bring in a bot, you go in, you load the character profile, you save it, and you're good to go. Well, that's everything for the, this quick uh, rigging tutorial, and I, I hope it was helpful. And um, please look for us, like and subscribe, and possibly uh, check out some of our other tutorials. We'll be adding uh, new ones at least on a weekly basis uh, going forward. Thank you, and have a great day.